You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. The final score: Miami 16, Maryland 15. Wow, it's a tough one for Maryland here. The number four seed falls to Army, 16 to 15. Army had a big lead early. They were going to take over the world for a little bit. Maryland catches up. And for a while, I thought that Maryland had it. And then Army storms back, and Maryland just can't answer. Mason, you've seen a lot of lacrosse this season as a coach and watching Maryland. What are your key takeaways from tonight? Yeah, the Terps just, uh, they, they didn't get it done in the defensive end. Uh, we didn't see early the sliding was an issue, especially on their two and three slides, and then um, it just, it didn't it didn't come from the goalie. The saves did not come when the Terps needed it, and it's a recipe for a disaster. You outshoot a team by 15 shots, but they get 11 more saves than you do, and that's, that, that, that's tough. Look, Maryland, 18-17 face-off wins, where Maryland needed one. At the end, Luke Wehrman comes through. Season rides on a face-off here. And he got it. This is Luke Wehrman. Here he comes. That's Maryland's ball. Uh, Army has 17 turnovers. Maryland has seven. It, it took a, a strange groove for Maryland to go down tonight, yet it happened. Congratulations to Army. We will be back with Bruce Posner here in a minute on the Big Dog Post Game Show. Come on, Brett. Seconds left. No timeouts for now, and Chorus takes the ball out. Here they go. Goes wide. It's a race. It's going to be Army's ball. It is. There's 10 seconds left. The game's going to be over. Oh, four seconds left. That'll do it. The music plays on, and Army's walking off the field. This was a really tough loss for the Terrapins, and a great day for Army. I'm gutted. All you Maryland fans are gutted. Why? Because when you have a championship team, and they fought like champions at the end, it wasn't their night. But I want to tell you something. I'm taking names, and I'm taking names of who's been down on us. I won't forget it. We know who they are. The media's been coming down on us. Calls today, okay, but we got beat. 16, 15, who would have thought Army could have scored 16 on us, you know? And we had our chances to be lane. That's what made it so heartbreaking. We, we did, but I my mean, goodness, that defense for Maryland was not good. And when Army needed goals, they, they were sharp shooting around Ruppel as though he was not there. Well, when you analyze it, though, they had seven goals in the first period. The rest of the game was kind of like in sync. Army scored when they had to. But you know what? Sometimes it's not your day. And since Michigan game, since the first Michigan game, it really hasn't been the same team. No. All right? It I really know. hasn't. Like right. Zapatella was the last piece that got injured, and it really wasn't the same team after that. I'm still waiting for him to play. <laughs> he kept saying day to day. Yeah. I'm still waiting. There's 365 <laughs> of those days. He'll be back next Listen, year. May I say one thing? 
McDaniel's back next year. He'll battle with Ripple for the position. And I thought down the wire, Danny Kelly turned it on. He really almost saved the game. And we had our opportunities, just couldn't find it. And let's give some credit to the Army goalie. He oh, made some cool. great Great save. He was great. My surprise player of the year, since this is the last one of these for this year, Erksa really stepped up. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't wearing the number one jersey. Well, uh, Zapatello, uh, until the injury, man, All-American play. And it was really great to watch Dante Trader play the one year. Who knows if he's going to be back. Look, 10 wins was still a good season. We'll go in here with Tillman has to say in a second. Five, one final word. Hats off. The two guys I'm going to talk about, two seniors. Brett Maycar, number one. He wore that number with pride. He wore that number with honor. He gave it everything he had, especially when Zap was out. And number 20, John Geppert. Oh, he absolutely. was on the sidelines crying and made me yeah. sick. Yeah. He played on one leg almost the whole season, all right? And he gave it all the effort of the world. I'm liking Spanos. I'm liking how he's going to build in. Eric Maliver will be back next year. Don't, it's going to be temporary, guys. That's all it's going to be is temporary. There goes Luke Lehrman right, right. right to left on the camera. When he had to get it, he did. But he their face-off guy was great. You hold, you go even with him, you've done well, great. It, it was an even game. We were standing here taking pictures going, is this going overtime or not? And it was that close. But when you're the four seed, you know, you'd think you'd win this game. It didn't happen. It's been a great run, and it's time to reload and do it again. And then you can uh, use all those names you took down. And okay, I'm taking them down. Still I'm, doing that. Still folks. doing it because we've got a lot of post game. I'm gonna listen to, uh, and I'll be taking it down. But he will hey, be. that'll do it. We Thanks got to two, two Maryland coaches left. We got Kevin Warren who won today with yep. Georgetown, and we have uh, Kevin Condry from so, Michigan who gets that's a shot who, tomorrow. That's who I'm rooting for. So right. those two teams. Thanks to Rick Jacklett to Jacklett's Law Group, our home team, Viner Four Gates to Mason to Bruce. This is Wayne Viner. That'll do it for the championship season that ends here. The There's no quarterfinal week, Wayne. Not, not no this quarter. week. I can't believe it. Yeah, but, but hey, Mason has a big game on Monday. He's playing to go to the state uh, tournament. So uh, we'll take all our attention and focus it there. When a season ends like this, a team that you followed uh, religiously over the past couple of years, and you see all the guys down there crying, and you feel like crying too. Sometimes the moment, especially in that post-game show right after the game ended, it couldn't really get the emotion across. But uh, I absolutely feel that uh, something ended here. And you go to a press conference and Geppert's in there and Maycar and talk about Kyle Long and some of the other guys, that this was it. Um, it was a hell of a run, Mason. And I know that you enjoyed going all the way through last year and following them this year. Uh, any thoughts to that end? I mean, these guys have been given so much at the same time. You know, it does suck that it ends for them, but they got an extra year from the pandemic. You know, they get that extra time with their teammates. And, look, you know, life changes. That's the thing. You know, this is a short time. Some of these guys are going to need to keep playing the sport. Yeah. I'm sure all of them will keep playing it in one way or another, whether they're playing competitive box leagues, you know just tournaments like that for money or they're playing in the PLL. Sure. But, you know, th this is the yeah, apex of the game. Right. You know, th this is this is that okay. moment. But and, and that team last year was probably the greatest team I'm ever going to see. Yeah. And we knew it when we were watching it. But, but you said it when we were standing on the field about what a public-private moment it is when you lose a game like this on national television and, and you've been – you think you're an adult and you can handle stuff and you end up standing on the 20 yard line crying well i mean the, but that's life you know you get punched in the face sometimes tears come come out of your eyes you know yeah. but you, you move on you know and that's what tillman's going to tell them is you know for those guys that need to go get a job they have to go get a job and they have to take the same level of effort that they put into this and yeah. put it into the next next phase of life sure and, and that, you know that's a little too adult for me right now but uh Anyhow, thank you all for watching. It's been a hell of a ride, and of course, we will be back next year as Trip Talk rolls on. We will see you, maybe for a little bit of baseball, but certainly for football in the fall of 2023. Thank you all for watching. Good evening from College Park.